Hi everybody, Brett back, altitude scale modeling with another spur review. Just got this shipped in from the UK, because it takes forever to get airfix shipped to America. Got it from pmmodels.co.uk. This is the 48 scale Ferry Gannett AS1 slash AS4. From Airfix, 48 scale, new tool, new kit. Same warnings on the side. A great sturdy box. You can do three versions. And I guess it's just too big of a box. I'm too close in, though. Let's just see what it says. But anyway, here it is. Just came in last week. Get the tabs off of it. Let's start looking at some plastic, shall we? Oops. So, two, four, six, six bags of sprues. Not all bagged together. Instructions and decals. Let's go. Let's just get started. Right here. Find my knife. Maybe. Erg. Doesn't want to cooperate. Alright, knife. Nice soft bags, not too crinkly. Lots of space to move around though. Alright. First two sprues. And then clear parts, which we'll look at later. Let's start with Fuselage halves. There we go. Look at that fine recessed rivet detail and paneling detail. All around. Airfix is definitely going to notch up. I'm sure you've seen many online photos of this already with the intricate wing fold those bulkheads with the good detail and the wiring it's rivets everywhere and where were we we were here a couple more bulkheads boxes not sure what they are again nice detail wing spar i believe that's the front of the aircraft the cowling this had a little flash on it. You can see the detail wrapped all the way around. It's either the bottom or the top. I think this is the bomb bay, maybe, if it has one. Those are the doors closed. And some beautiful interior detailing. Cockpit floor, the whole length of the aircraft. Side panels right there. Again, both fuselage halves. Very nice detailing all around. Other side. Character pin marks all around, but I doubt you're going to see any of that. It's going to be covered with all those interior parts. Same with all the bottoms of everything, the backs, shouldn't see any of that, alright, get this out of the way, and we got wings, these are obviously the full extended wings, again, beautiful detail, Rivets, panel lines. These are all raised right here. Positionable ailerons, flaps it looks like. 
great access panel. And you've got this part here, which is for, let's see, not sure which part that's for. Obviously, I don't know the ferry gannet that well. I'm sure a lot of Americans don't either. But true aircraft bus will, whether no matter what country they're from. There's some more. Those polished out ejector pin marks inside the wheel wells. And then the tops of the wings, which have detailing on the top. This is Sprue B. Next, it looks like we've got our folded for our wing sections for folding. And I believe these are matching sprues on C one D. Yep, C and D are matching sprues, which makes sense because a lot of sections for these wings to fold. Plus, you've got your rudder, your doors, your elevators. Again, there's where your landing gear bay is. wonderful detail throughout and we're gonna look at the other side but it's gonna be pretty much the same as all the other ones ejector pin marks some with a little polish on them some without doors so again C and D are the same identical sprues of the wing sections you will need in the doors for the Bombay to fold the wings. So, C and D are together. One more bag of sprues. And these are big bags and big sprues, so it's a lot of parts. This is G H E. So here's E. And with E, you can see there's some of the sections you're going to need for those wing folds. And then some side areas for the cockpit, wheel hubs. There's part of that intricate folding mechanism, the rod that holds the wings up when they're folded, I believe those are landing gear bay doors, wonderful weight on wheels, separate hubs for painting, again more of your intricate bulkheads for the wing folds. more there. See that? Flip it over. There's some nice detailing inside those doors. Landing your legs. Control sticks. Another nicely detailed inside the door. Landing gear, bay area. Okay. This one is brew unknown. J it looks like. But this is your weaponry. 
bombs, rockets, fins, rocket pods, Separate heads for the rockets. So a spruce mainly of weaponry. Again, nicely detailed. Obviously your pylons for some of those. And lastly for this, we've got F, G, and H. F is this small one here. Looks like one of the panels. Front wheel. Engine cowling, props. Nice looking props, some more side panels, a couple of pilots. Nicely detailed instrument panels and more bulkheads with good detailing. Seats, a little cut out for the parachute butt to sit in. Some more boxes, some more controls, some more handles, tail hook. Prop spinner. There is no engine with this. Back to the pilots. Back to the instrument panels. It's like it's got some detail you can wire up back on that one. But not that one. All right, I'll give you another close look at those pilot figures. All right, we got some clear parts. Really nice looking clear parts. Very nice. Windshield wiper, no windshield wiper. Nice rivet detail. Your lights, your wing tips, wing tip. And those are so curved, of course, you're going to get distortion, but your front ones are going to look great. Okay, I'm going to put these back in the bag because I don't want the clear parts being scratched. And decals, which... Look very nice. And there's carry film around the letters, of course. Shouldn't be a problem. They're not thick. It's cut right to the edge. So you got your three different versions, A, B, and C. Then all these are common. Instrument panel decals. Then some separate instrument panel decals. Stenciling. We got bent in the box a little bit. Pick which version you want to do and you go for it. Okay. And instructions. A little bit about the fairy gannet in a few languages. Sorry, I cut off for a second my phone call. So anyway. 
different languages, French, German, English, different specifications. This is, requires a large amount of weight to be added to the Ford fuselage to rest the wheel on there. And it shows you two places to add that. Color call out, so we'll look at it in a second. And then there's Spanish and Swedish, maybe. Warnings, instructions, and then you just jump right in to working on the cockpit, wing spar, mainly all the interior. Putting in your decals for the instrument panel. Looking to see where it says anything about nose weight. I'm pretty sure right there, right here, 12 grams in the front, in this box, one spot. Then, you work on your sides of your fuselage with your side panels. Put the assembled interior into it. There you go. There's a second place, 55 grams, nose weight, up to this line right there. Okay, there you go, and model cannot rest on wheels with the ray dome in extended position, so keep that in mind, the ray dome cannot be extended, that's what this part was for the ray dome, to be on the wheels, only in flight, so in flight, not in flight. And then your landing gear bay assemblies, flaps, ailerons. Here, wings in the unfolded position. So you leave the wings out. You do it like this, and I don't know how well it would fit, so you could swap wings in and out, except you only got one landing gear bay. And one of each of these. I don't know if you need those for the folder, but this you do, so I guess you wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. Put the wings on, put the flaps and ailerons on, put those clear parts on the tips. Put your tail sections on, your elevators. Stabilizers on the elevators. Flaps. You see your bomb bay there, or your weapons bay. Flaps down or flaps up, if they're up. You have to remove some parts. Okay. And putting your nose section in. Do not glue for the prop. Wheels, tires, landing gear, up or down, your choice. <coughs> Excuse me. Landing your doors. And it's got this really nice give you the angles properly you need. Okay. For landing gear. Doors. And here we go with the prop. And the other prop. And your closed bomb bay, weapons bay. It does say bomb bay there, so. And then if you want to put weapons in it and on it, rockets, bombs, Fill it up. Open doors. Landing your doors, bomb bay doors. Then your pylon assembly. And your rocket pod pylons. Your rocket pods. Rockets, I mean. Shows the angle they're supposed to be at here. Rockets going on. So far, we're still with the wings in the open position. Putting your canopies on. Painting the pilot. Putting all your canopies on. 
and lining your up or lining your down will determine whether or not to leave the ray down in or out, up or down. And I'm guessing these are exhaust. And if you're going to fold the wings, you got to do this. I think I skipped a step somewhere. Let me go back. Let me go back. So I don't see in here where it shows you putting all these wing parts together. But let's double check. No. No. So, if you're building this model with folded wings, don't do miss out on steps 39 to 50 on pages 6 and 7, and go to 51 on page 8. So, you're going 39 to 50, you're not doing, you go straight to 51. And here's where you're putting all your part wings together. See, I did miss it. Pages must have been stuck together. So, there you go. There's assembling all your wing sections for the folded wings. All the hinges and the mechanisms and everything you need. Okay, I just, those pages must have stuck right together. And then you're doing your wing folds. I look how that looks with folded wings. I'm not gonna lie. And, lastly, stencil data. Not phantom level, but quite a bit. I'm seeing 105 stencils on here, starting 108, 110, but it doesn't start with one, so the lowest number I see is what, 21? 21 to 105 are stencils. Here, it's one scheme, beautiful colors. I'm sure these are Humbrol color callouts and fair fix. That is the 847 Naval Squadron, 1957. This is the 815 Naval Squadron in 1958, aboard the Ark Royal, aboard the uh, Nicosia in Cyprus. No, maybe that's the base. And then finally, 849 Squadron Training Flight, 1959. So you need to decide which one and how you want it armed, and if it's a training flight, doesn't look to be armed at all, at least not with rockets. There you have it. The all new, new tool, air fix, fairy gannet, great big box, beautiful looking aircraft. Looking forward to building it later this year. I want to see a couple other people tackle it first, especially with that wing fold part, and then I'll get on it. Thanks for watching. Take care, sit your ass on the bench and build some new exquisite model that you've just discovered or dig one out of your stash. Either way, enjoy your hobby.